Bonjour à tous, uh, hello everyone. So la leçon du jour for uh, today is le, le verbe être, quite useful one. Uh, so let's start now. So first form for je, it's je suis. So you can notice that the final s is not pronounced. Je suis. Repeat. Je suis. Okay, and then comes tu. Tu es. All right. So you can notice that it's uh, open a eh, a. Eh. So don't be afraid to open your mouth. <laughs> you must be on your own now, so you can shout a. Eh. Okay. Tu es. Eh. Repeat. Tu es. Eh. Okay. And then for il masculine, il est. Eh. So it's quite strange uh, because it does sound the same as tu, okay, but then there is this final t, but you don't pronounce it, so il est. Repeat. Okay, and the form for elle, elle est. Repeat. Okay, elle est. Mm -hmm. Then for nous, you've got nous sommes, okay, final s is not pronounced, nous sommes. Repeat. Nous sommes. The form for vous, vous êtes. So this is the first, just to notice the sound, and after that you should do the liaison, so this small link between the S and the E, so you get vous êtes. Repeat. Vous êtes. Okay, final S, not pronounced. And then, il and elle, so il, masculine. Ils sont. Alright, repeat. Ils sont. Okay, and then the feminine form. Elles sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Okay, one important thing regarding this uh, il and elle, so the last one we just saw, uh, keep in mind that the verb avoir, to have, uh, have the, the, this uh, liaison, and so the sound for avoir is ils ont, elles ont, okay, but then for être it's ils sont, elles sont. So actually this uh, first sound, I mean the, this s is the, the, the only way to uh, dissociate uh, et from avoir uh, for il and l. Okay, so don't be afraid to pronounce this s uh, quite strongly. Okay, so let's do it again. Ils sont. Repeat. Elles sont. Repeat. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi everyone and welcome to la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe avoir, a quite useful one, so avoir means to have, so let's start with the pronunciation. First form for je is j'ai, repeat, j'ai. Second form for tu, it's tu as, repeat. Tu as. Okay. Third form. Il and elle. So masculine. Il a. Repeat. Il a. Feminine form. Elle. Elle a. Repeat. Elle a. Then come the form for nous. Nous avons. So you can notice that there is a small link be between this S and A. That's what we call the, la liaison. So you get to put this small link. So it's like Z. Nous avons. Repeat. Nous avons. And then for vous, same thing. Vous avez. Repeat. Vous avez. Okay. And last but not least. Il. Masculine form. Ils ont. Same thing. Small link. La liaison. Ils ont. Repeat. 
ils ont. Okay? And then feminine form elle, same thing, elles ont. Repeat. Elles ont. Okay? Just before leaving you, actually keep in mind that uh, this liaison, this link, is actually quite soft. It not, it's not really strong. And uh, it's especially important for this uh, last part, ils ont and elles ont, because if you make it stronger and too strong, it would sound like ils sont. And in this case, be careful because it's the verb être, to be. Okay? So keep in mind that it's really light and it's like zzz, ils ont. Elles ont. Okay, repeat one last time for the pleasure. Ils ont. Repeat. Okay, and elles ont. Repeat. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. So in this uh, lesson, we will focus on uh, le verbe aller. So a quite important verb actually because we can use it quite easily because aller means to go and then we use aller as well for the future proche that we will see a bit later ok so let's start now je vais repeat je vais tu vas repeat Tu vas. Il va. Elle va. Repeat. Il va. Elle va. Nous allons. So you can notice the liaison between S and A. Nous allons. Repeat. Nous allons. Vous allez. So the same thing, the liaison between S and A. Vous allez. Repeat. Vous allez. Ils vont. Elles vont. Repeat. Ils vont. Elles vont. Ok, so I do hope everything is clear now. As I said <laughs> all the time, don't be afraid to watch the video again and again to be sure that you know these verbs by heart. Ok, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour pour la, la leçon du jour and today we will see le verbe s'appeler. So s'appeler is quite important because uh, well, that's the verb you're using when you want to introduce the name of someone. And it's uh, quite useful and quite tricky in a way because it does belong to this uh, family of, of verbs that we call les verbes pronominaux or then uh, les verbes réfléchis. Um, so we'll see how, how it does work. Uh, you will see now. Let's go. Okay, so first form for je, it's je m'appelle. Okay, so that's the particularity of these verbs. So you've got to add something, and usually for the first form it's me, but then as you've got this voyal, you know, for the verb appeler, e uh, disappears, and you get this je m'appelle. Repeat. Okay, second form, uh, well, same thing, okay, but then usually for two, the form is tu te and then something in here we're starting with vo voyal so uh, it's the same thing as previously uh, disappears so we, we get this tu t'appelles okay final s is not pronounced tu t'appelles repeat okay and then come il and elle so masculine form il so usually for il or for elle, third person of the singular, you get this se, okay, s e, but then, as previously, we are starting with a voyal a, so a disappears, and you get this il s'appelle. Repeat. Il s'appelle, okay, and then a feminine form, elle s'appelle. 
Repeat. Elle s'appelle. Okay. And then for new, so some of the students and some of my students find it quite strange, but then that's the that's the form for these uh, verb pronomino. You've got to repeat uh, nous again. So you get this nous nous and then appelons. Okay. Keep in mind and try to remember that for this form uh, you've got only one L. You know, if you compare it to je, tu, il, elle, you can see that for nous, you know, this uh, L, there is only one, okay? So, let's pronounce it together and just put some liaison. Nous nous appelons. Repeat. Nous nous appelons. Okay, so you can notice that the pronunciation is a bit different for the verb. It's appelons. Okay, because there is only one L there. Nous nous appelons. So repeat. Okay. All right. So next, it's a bit the same concept uh, actually. So you get to repeat vous again, and then you get this vous vous appelez. Okay. Same thing. Only one L. Vous vous appelez. Okay. Repeat. All right. And finally, so il pluriel. Uh, masculine form and L, uh, you get uh, this il s'appelle. All right, so that's the same concept. Usually you should have se, but then I starting with a vowel, so uh, is disappearing, and you get this il s'appelle. Repeat. Okay, il s'appelle. All right, and then L, L s'appelle. Repeat. Elle s'appelle. Okay, so if you noticed, actually between this il and l, so the plural form and then the singular form, it's uh, actually it's the same form. So uh, if you only listen to them, to them, it's the the same pronunciation. Okay, il s'appelle, elle s'appelle. Repeat. Okay, so let's hope everything is clear now. Don't be afraid to watch it again and again. All right, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour tout le monde. C'est la leçon du jour. So today we will uh, see uh, le verbe faire. So faire means to do, and it's a quite useful verb and also a bit tricky. You will see why. So now we can start. So first form for je, it's je fais. Okay, so final S is not pronounced. Je fais. Repeat. Je fais. Okay. Second form, tu fais. So same form, same pronunciation, the final S is not pronounced. Tu fais. Repeat. Tu fais. Okay. And then comes il masculine and elle feminine. So il fait same pronunciation so final t is not pronounced il fait repeat il fait okay and then feminine form elle fait so same thing final t is not pronounced elle fait repeat elle fait okay then comes nous nous faisons so here it's quite tricky because actually we write it R E faisons but then we pronounce it faisons okay and then final S is not pronounced so nous faisons repeat nous faisons okay so here come the strange form uh, logically we could put this vous faisait but then no it's vous faites Okay, keep in mind that final S is not pronounced. Vous faites. Okay, repeat. Vous faites. Alright. And then, fin finally, so il masculine and elle feminine. Uh, il font. Okay, so you get this uh, nasal on, on. Okay, and then the final T is not pronounced. So il font. Repeat. Okay, and then feminine form, elle font. Same thing, o n on, and then final t is not pronounced. Okay, elle font. Repeat, 
elles font. Okay, so that's it for today. Don't be afraid to watch it again and again to be sure that you know and you master the verb faire. Thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to La Leçon du Jour. So today we will try to see one important verb, it's uh, partir. Okay, so partir is to leave. Uh, quite usually we, we, we saw the noun, it's uh, départ, le départ, okay, in an airport for example. Okay, but now it's the verb partir. So let's start with the first form. First person of the singular is je, and then we get this je pars. Okay, so it's uh, ending with a s, but then we don't pronounce it, so je pars. Repeat. Je pars. Okay, and then for two we've got this tu pars. So second person tu, tu pars. Repeat. Okay, so it's the same form as you noticed. Okay, it ends with a s, but we don't pronounce it. Okay, and then il, elle, il part. Repeat. Il part. And then elle, elle part. Repeat. Elle part. All right. So well, as usual, not all the time, but quite often, we've got the same form for je, tu, il, and elle. I mean the same form, the form you will pronounce. Okay. So for je, it's par, tu par, il par, elle par. Okay. But keep in mind that of course you've got to write the final s for je and tu, and then the final T for in a, il and elle, okay? So let's see nous now. So first person of the plural, it's nous. And then we get nous partons. Repeat. Nous partons. Okay, so final S is not pronounced as usual. So you only need to pronounce at the end this uh, nasal. So O-N, on, on, on. All right. Nous partons. Repeat. Okay. Second person of the plural, it's vous, and then we have vous partez. Repeat. Vous partez. Okay, so remember that this final EZ, okay, give you the sound E, E, E. Alright, so it's vous partez. Repeat. Okay. And last but not least, third person of the plural, and as usual, we've got We've got il and elle, so uh, let's start with il. Il part. Repeat. Il part. Okay, and then keep in mind that it's a bit tricky and it's a bit strange, but the final e and t is not pronounced. Okay, it only gives you the possibility to pronounce the the t just before, so you get the sound part. Part. Okay, so il part. All right, and then same form for elle. Elle part. Repeat. Elle part. Okay, so je pars, tu pars, il part, elle part, nous partons, vous partez, ils partent, elle part. Hope everything is clear now. Have a nice day. Don't be afraid to watch the video again. Okay, bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la leçon du jour. So welcome in the French lesson of the day and today we'll see le verbe pouvoir. So a quite useful verb because it does mean to can. So let's see how it goes now. So for the first person, je, it's je peux. Repeat, je peux. So actually you don't pronounce the final X. Second person, tu, tu so you can see that it's exactly the same way of writing it and exactly the same of pronouncing it. You don't pronounce the final X. So it's je, tu, peux. Okay, so let's see how il goes. Il peut. Alright, so same way of pronunciation. You've got a T at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. Il peut. Okay. L, feminine form, third person of the singular, and it's the same way. Elle peut. Repeat. Elle peut. Okay, so let's see how it goes for the plural. And then be careful because for nous it's changing a little bit. Nous pouvons. Okay, so you write this OU and you pronounce it OU. Okay, so if you combine it, you nous pouvons. Okay, you don't pronounce the final S. Nous pouvons. Repeat. Nous pouvons. 
Okay? So for vous, it's a little bit the same. It's vous pouvez. Okay? So you keep this P-O-U-V, but then you put the ending for vous. The classical ending is a Z. Okay? You combine it. Vous pouvez. Repeat. Vous pouvez. Okay? For il au pluriel, then you get il peuvent. Repeat. Il peuvent. Okay, so as usual, you've got this e n t at the end, but then you don't pronounce it. You only pronounce il peuvent. Okay, and well, last but not least, l, and it's actually the same form as it was for il, l peuvent. So the same rule, final e n t is not pronounced, so you get l peuvent. Okay, so let's see again how it goes. Repeat, je peux. Tu peux. Il peut. Elle peut. Nous pouvons. Vous pouvez. Ils peuvent. Elles peuvent. Ok, I hope it was clear for you. Don't be afraid to watch the video again and again. Have a nice day. Au revoir, bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone. And welcome to la leçon du jour. So how about uh, learning a useful verb today? So the verb is prendre. And prendre means to take. Okay, so let's start and have a look at the forms. So the first person of the singular, je, it's je prends. Repeat. Je prends. Okay, so you can see that we've got uh, S at the end and then D as well, but then we don't pronounce them. So actually the only thing we will pronounce for this form is P R E N and it's the sound prend. Okay, repeat. Okay. And for tu, so it's tu prends. Repeat. Tu prends. And you can notice it's it's actually the same same form as for uh, for je. Okay, so final s and then the d before you don't pronounce them. Okay. Il and l, so masculine il, we get il prend. Okay, so same pronunciation final day is not pronounced so it's only the p r e n prend okay repeat il prend okay and then l prend repeat l prend okay so just you can notice that je tu il and l are just pronounced the same way je prends tu prends il prend Elle prend, okay, but uh, remember to put the final S for je and tu. All right, so let's have a look now with the nous first person of the plural. It's nous prenons, okay, and keep in mind that e is pronounced like e, pre, pre, okay, nous prenons. Repeat, nous prenons, yeah, that's it. Second person, it's vous, and then we get vous prenez. Repeat, vous prenez. Okay, so actually for nous and vous, we've got the classical endings, okay, so for nous usually it's O-N-S, and then for vous it's usually a Z, okay, so nothing really special for this form, okay, and then finally, il and elle are the plural form, so ils prennent, repeat, ils prennent, okay, so you can notice that the first E of Pren is pronounced like e eh, e, eh. and the reason for that is that you you've got a double n after that, so it changes the pronunciation of the e. Uh, okay, so that's the reason why you've got il pren. Repeat, il pren. Okay, and keep in mind that as usual for this third person of the plural, this e uh, n t, the final one is not pronounced. Okay, so for l we've got l Pren. Repeat. L. Pren. Okay, so let's see one more time. Je prends. Repeat. Tu prends. Il prend. Elle prend. Nous prenons. Vous prenez. Ils prennent. Elles prennent. All right, so let's hope everything is clear. If it's not clear, then you know how it works. Just watch the video again and again. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Uh, welcome everyone. 
This is la leçon du jour and today we will see uh, le verbe savoir. So savoir is quite useful because it does mean to know. Okay, so let's start with the first form. First person of the singer it's je and then we get the form je sais. Repeat, je sais. Okay, so you can see that we've got a final S, but as usual we don't pronounce it, so it's je sais, all right? Second form, it's tu sais, okay? So actually the same form, tu sais, repeat. Okay, third person of the singer, il and elle, and what a surprise! Uh, same form, il sait, repeat. Elle sait, repeat. Okay, so as not usual, but in many cases for je, tu, il, and elle, we've got the same form that you, you have to pronounce, so it's se. Okay, but then keep in mind that it ends with s for je and tu, and it ends with t for il and elle. Okay, so have a look at the first person of the plural. Now it's nous, and then we get this nous savons. Repeat, nous savons. Okay, final S not pronounced as usual, so you get the final on. Okay, that's the sound you get at the end. Nous savons. All right. So now vous, and then we get this vous savez. Repeat, vous savez. Okay, keep in mind that this ending a z, okay, is pronounced like e e. Okay, vous savez. Repeat. Okay, and last but not least, the plural form, so third person of the plural, so it's il masculine, el feminine, so let's start with il, il save, repeat, il save, okay, so keep in mind that e and t, okay, the ending is not, is not pronounced, so it's only save, v, 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 it ends with the sound v, okay, il save, repeat, Okay, and the same form for elle, elle save. Repeat, elle save. Okay, so let's see again. Je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait, nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. And I do hope that now you know this form and this verb. So, if it's not really clear, don't be afraid to watch the video one more time. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone and welcome to La Leçon du Jour. And today we will see the verb uh, venir. So, venir means to come. So, it's quite useful and we use it quite often. So, let's start with the first form. First person of the singular, it's je. And then the form we get is je viens. Repeat, je viens. Okay, so you can notice that it's ending with s, but we don't pronounce it. So we actually only pronounce v. So the v and then the y y y. Okay, so let's combine them and we get viens. Repeat, je viens. Okay. Second person it's tu, and then we get actually the same sound. Tu viens. Repeat. Tu viens. Okay. Third person of the singer, it's il masculin, elle féminin. So the masculine form, it's il vient. Repeat. Il vient. Okay. Final T is not pronounced, so you get the same form as for je and tu. All right. And then elle, it's the same thing. Elle vient. Repeat. Elle vient. Okay. So je, tu, Il and elle are actually pronounced the same way, okay? But then je and tu is ending with a s, and then il and elle, the same form is ending with a t, okay? So let's see nous. First person of the plural, it's nous, and then we get this nous venons, okay? Keep in mind that e is pronounced like e, so it's the, 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 venons. Final s is not pronounced, okay? Nous venons. Repeat. Nous venons. Okay. Second person of the plural, it's vous, and then we get the sound vous venez. Repeat. Vous venez. Okay. If you look at the form, so it's ending with a Z. Okay. But then when these two letters are co are combined like that, you get the sound E. Okay. So it's venez. Repeat. Vous 
the knee okay and then let's finish with the third person of the plural so masculine il okay so you get this il vien repeat il vien okay so if you notice actually the first e uh, is pronounced like e e e okay it's vie vie vien repeat vien okay so it's pronounced like that just because you've got a double n right after it so it opens the pronunciation of the e uh, so it's e okay vien all right and the final e uh, n is not pronounced so it's il vien repeat okay same thing for l so same form l vien repeat l vien okay so let's say again one more time it's je viens tu viens il vient elle vient nous venons vous venez ils viennent and elles viennent I hope everything is clear for you. Okay, don't be afraid to watch it one more time, as the French say. Uh, have a nice day, okay? And, uh, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, bonjour à tous and welcome to la leçon du jour. So today we will see a quite useful verb. It's the verb vouloir. Vouloir means to want. Okay, so I'm really sure you want to learn this verb. Let's start with the first person from the singular and it's je. Okay, and the form we get is je veux. Repeat. Je veux. Okay, so you can see that the final X is not pronounced. Okay, it's je veux. E, je veux. All right. Second person, it's tu veux, and you can notice that it's actually the same form, so same pronunciation. It's tu veux. Repeat. Tu veux. Okay. Third person, it's il and elle, so masculine is il. Il veut. Repeat. Il the okay so you can see that final t is not pronounced so it's actually the same pronunciation as we had for je and tu okay so repeat il veut okay elle well you can see that it's the same pronunciation so it's elle veut repeat elle veut okay so je tu il and elle are just pronounced the same way okay and the sound is the okay but keep in mind that for je and tu you get to put x at the end and then for il and l you get to put t at the end okay so now for nous first person of the plural so it's nous voulons okay final s is not pronounced nous voulons repeat okay second person it's vous voulez repeat vous voulez all right so actually quite classical endings you know for nu it's o n s and for vu it's a z okay and keep in mind that it's vu voulez form a z when you combine them especially with the verbs at the endings it sounds like a okay so it's vu voulez okay so don't pronounce the z okay and then last but not least third person of the plural so it's il masculine elle feminine so let's start with il and then we get this il veul all right so uh, it's not so deep actually it's quite open it's veul veul okay the final e and t is not pronounced okay so actually you only pronounce this v e u l and quite light okay so it's il veul repeat il veul okay same form l veul repeat l veul okay so let's see that again before leaving you je veux tu veux il veut elle veut so actually the same form nous voulons vous voulez ils veulent elles veulent okay i do hope everything is clear for you if it's not don't be afraid to watch the video one more time okay bye bye have a nice day